Welcome back, Grace guys, over downtown Vancouver. It is Thursday. Wow, I really had to double check there with Canada Day being in the middle of the week. Uh, one of the areas hit hard by COVID-19, of course, Whistler Blackcomb, but the resort has reopened after three months. And right now we're joined by Whistler Mayor Jack Crompton. Welcome to BT, sir. It is a pleasure to be on with you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, first of all, tell us uh, how you rang in Canada Day yesterday in the uh, resort municipality of Whistler. Uh, we had guests call in from all over the world, actually. The tenors uh, who have spent some time up here and, and sing to us on a regular uh, called in from one from New York, one awesome. from Toronto, one from Vancouver. Buffy St. Marie was there. Um, choir, choir, choir. Ooh. And just celebrated. Uh, there's some of the uh, cool. guys from tenors. It was great. It was great. That's awesome. All right, let's talk about COVID-19, its impact on Whistler itself. Uh, Whistler Black Home reopened after three months. Talk to us about the uh, economic impact the closure has had because this is a time of year when we would generally see a lot of tourists up there. Yeah, it was devastating, and it changed everything. Uh, March 15th is a day that's going to go down in a lot of our memories as a, as a very difficult, dark day when the mountain closed and when a lot of people left. And um, those are people that have committed a lot of their lives to our community. Whistler's a place that uh, not only hosts the world to come and visit, but also hosts the world to come and work. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of those people went home to their families around the world. <clears throat> and... Um, and the the town emptied. So for those three months, there was no one here. My wife and our kids walked into the village most days. And for about four days, every, oh, it was still, the lights were still on. It was still kind of set up to host people. And in a couple of those walks, we were the only people in Whistler Village at around 8.30 or 9 uh, at night, which is a really different experience. That's unheard of in that area. That must have been yeah. quite eerie for you. And were you sort of optimistic or, or were there times when you were thinking, man, what are we going to do? How are we going to pull through this? Um, but Whistler is an interesting place. We turned very quickly to um, planning and preparing to welcome people back whenever that opportunity presented itself. And so we've been really focused for the last three months on what a safe tourism experience looks like and how we ensure that when our guests do visit, they uh, are finding those things that they've always come to love about this place, but they're able to do it in a safe way. Okay, so give us some examples of how you're going to gradually reopen to tourists, but also help stimulate that local economy. Well, we're, BC's open for travel, and so Vancouver and Whistler have been linked for a very long time. Vancouver really built Whistler into the tourism destination that it is, so it feels like the door is being opened first to our family. And that's nice. It's nice to be having British Columbia back in town first. Bring your mask if you come, because uh, standing in a lineup or um, being in a, in a pinch point in certain areas of the village, you'll need your, your face covering. Um, but Dr. Henry keeps talking about us all finding few faces and big spaces, and Whistler has lots of big open spaces. So when you visit, you're very close to no one, and you'll be able to find those places um, and, and then be able to get rid of that mask. But we, we are encouraging people to bring masks. You'll notice that a lot of our um, commercial locations have got plexiglass up. A lot of the um, service team will be wearing masks themselves. Um, physical distancing is a big thing. We've the cultural connector, which has the Squamish Lowell Cultural Center, the Adane Art Museum, the uh, Arts Whistler facility, are all linked with sort of a, a unified theme around physical distancing. So we're kind of training ourselves as we go through this on where to stand and um, and how to take care of each other uh, by wearing masks when we're when we're not able to be physically distanced. Well, it sounds like a great plan in place and lots to do up there this summer. We hope to see you there, and we thank you so much for your time uh, this morning, Mayor. Thanks, uh, thanks a lot, Thor. Have a great day. Yeah, you too. Take care. That's Whistler Mayor Jack Crompton, and we'll be back with uh, more BT, including entertainment headlines. and.